me just kind of highlight what some of those variables mean. Well, then I'm going to flip over and just take turns reading some PUVNERT examples still left open in our notepad. I'd like to even show you on your practice test today what the PUVNERT would look like. I think it's objective three. We'll take a look there. Um, do a little further applications of some PUVNERT, hitting in that PUVNERT equation or other variables, things like molecular mass of an unknown gas, how many grams of a, of a gas do we have, even things like density can be pulled out of a PUVNERT equation. So PV equal NRT is our theme for the hour. Um, we do have a homework sheet that I've got kind of solution stations posted around. Eventually, as we work our way through the agenda, we'll have an opportunity to go back and, and check some of our PUVNERT equations. And so by the end of our lesson today, we will indeed be professional PUVNERTers. That's a good goal to have in our, our lesson. So our last variable we introduced on Friday's lesson was the N, the number of particles. And as a chemist, we count particles using a unit called the mole. So even though we PV equal NRT, it's not a PUV MERT equation with the M, it's an N for the number of moles. We rearranged PUVNERT and we said PV, pressure and volume with their inverse relationship, set equal to N, the number of moles, R is a gas constant we derived using the three standard pressures and T representing the Kelvin temperature. Really um, kind of making some notes before we were to practice, we understand that whatever that pressure unit is, it doesn't matter what the unit is, but it's real important to match the R constant so when we put nerd our units would match. Page, for instance, I bet you can remember, is it helping me right here, if we're PUV nerding and our pressure unit comes to us in a kilopascal, what must the value for R match? 8.31, correct. Hannah, what if we're PUV nerding and the pressure comes to us in an atmosphere? What would the R constant now have to be? Beautiful. And Drake, what if we're PUV nerding and we're using a millimeter mercury? What now do we plunk in for R? Beautiful. So the R constant must match the pressure unit. Doesn't matter what it is, we just have to match. We made ourselves another note when we solved for the R constant. We always, always put in a liter unit for 22.4. We called that molar volume or standard volume. So now it matters that when we put NERT, that volume must be in a liter. Maybe a good side note here. If we're given milliliters, we know to exchange that a thousand milliliters is equivalent to a liter. So we might have to slide the decimal one place or the other to be sure we're in a liter. And of course, the temperature always measured in a Kelvin unit. So no Celsius at all when we start puff nerding. Any of our gas law equations must always use the Kelvin scale. Alrighty. We did a few practice problems right in our notepad, and I sent you on to try some um, additional practice right on your homework paper. But I wouldn't mind just picking up at the top of page 8, a little mole map review with a PUVNERT twist. Jake, on the top of page 8, I'm just seeing a title here, Avogadro's Hypothesis, a mole map review. Would you just simply be a reader for us for that first sentence, allowing me to kind of review some mole map stuff? Thank you. You're allowing us to remember that the identity of the gas doesn't matter. That any gas will occupy 22.4 liters at standard conditions. Thank you, sir. Dean, would you kindly pick up in that next little sentence there? Awesome, thanks. Easy mole map review. Andy, can you do, uh, be a reader for our first example? Thank you. Those little letters, STP, they really do represent numbers. The standard conditions, standard temperature, we know to be 273 Kelvin. And standard pressure, it absolutely doesn't matter what value we pick, just that we match the R constant when we put NERT. We know it to be 101 kPa's, the R constant 8.31. If we use one atmosphere for standard pressure, 0 0.0821 becomes the R constant. It doesn't matter, we just have to be sure to match. And there's another unit called millimeters of mercury. 
760 MMHGs, and we plunk in 62.4. So three possible correct choices, and we just plug in the correct R value, and we can pull out for volume. So, <clears throat> Kaylee, how about just selecting? It's just, oh, we need somebody to be the decider. Should we plunk in KPAs, atmospheres, or millimeter mercury for my pressure value? KPA it is, a lovely choice. At standard pressure of 101.3, I just get my Pivnert parentheses ready, plunk them in as we go. The R constant now we know to be 8.31. We're just matching R to the pressure unit. We'd like to know the volume when the number of moles is 0 0.202 and the standard temperature value we'll plunk in is 273 Kelvin units. What's the volume of a gas at STP if I have 0 0.202 moles? We NRT and divide by P. Anna, would you be my calculator, buddy? Start on the side without the equate or out the variable first, and we'll divide by pressure. So, rnt, divide by p. Me too. Thank you, calculator, buddy. That volume of 4.52, and the unit always, always in a Pivnert problem a liter unit, 4.52 liters big. Corey, how about reading for us our next example? Thank you. Okay, oops, oh, that's an equal. We need somebody to decide a pressure unit. So many choices. What value would you like to place in for standard pressure? An atmosphere, lovely choice. When standard pressure is in an atmosphere, the R constant, 0821, will be used. We'd like to know the volume. When 742 moles of argon gas are at standard conditions. Pulling out for the size of our volume, when one mole of a, or 0 0.742 moles of a gas, what volume would it occupy at STP? Alyssa, would you like to hit with me? 0.742 times the R times the T, divide by P. You're faster, hang on. Oh, that's a match, thank you. <laughs> Got her done. And one more to read through. Lindsay, please. Thank you. Interesting. I have a gram, and I don't hear a g in a PUV-NERT problem anywhere, but it's an easy enough mole map conversion. I'll get my PUV equals NERT parentheses ready. Finding for volume. Let's see. Olivia, somebody has to be the decider. What pressure unit would you like to put in? KPAs it is. Standard pressure of 101.3 tells us to R value with 8.31. Standard temperature we can plunk in at 273 Kelvin units. But I can't put 14 grams in there. There is no G in a PUV-NERT, but it's an easy enough mole map conversion. 14 grams of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen, of course, belongs to our lucky seven horses need oats for clear brown eyes will use its molecular mass of 28. So Alex, we're going to need a little mole map work, converting our grams into moles so we have an N to plunk in. Thank you, sir. And there becomes the N value for PUVNERT. Shelby, let's pull out for V if you would be my calculator buddy next. Our number of moles times R times T divide by P. It's a match. Thank you. There's our volume, eleven point I'll just round eleven point two liters of gas. Cool. Friends, let's set this aside for a moment. See if you can't locate your practice text next.